Hi everyone and welcome to Street Contest, the seasonal championship in autumn of Series 8 in Forza Horizon 5. The car restrictions for this championship are BMW versus Volkswagen and for me that wasn't even a serious choice because as much as I like Volkswagens, the BMW feels like more natural thing to choose for this kind of racing and I'm not even alone in this, look at the AI, they are all driving BMWs. I I think there's one or two Volkswagens on the whole field and the rest are Beamers, so you get the gist. My choice of BMW for this race is 1995 M5, tuned for you by Seppi SP4. This is not a seasonal tune, so it's not particularly built to beat AI, but uh, whatever works against humans and on rivals works against AI. And the opposite is not always true. The tunes built specifically for seasonal championships rarely perform well outside of that environment, which is obviously explained just by a lower difficulty of AI and some of the, th some of the features of AI, like uh, e if your tune favors acceleration and launch, you are in a better position to beat AI just because you overtake them early on and then the rubber band um, algorithm does its job and doesn't really allow them to be too aggressive and you can defend better. But in any case this tune doesn't have too much in the sense of acceleration and launch, we didn't overtake half the field from get go but uh, look at the gap now, by the end of this race the AI will build their usual train of rubber banded times which are not even representative of how they drive, just a mathematical simulation. So there we go. This is a rear wheel wheel drive car, so you need to exercise quite a bit of a throttle control on it. But uh, this being a B class, so lower power uh, cars, it's it's not bad at all, especially. Uh, if you are rather new to rear wheel uh, drives, this is probably one of the easier or better ways to start getting your handle um, on them. So just remember to be a little bit more gentle on the throttle, especially if, as you come out of the corners, otherwise your rear end will fly to the opposite side, to the outside of the corner and you may lose control, just uh, like I did right now, a little bit of a drift in the end of the race. Here we are finishing the first race nice and easy, again still no traffic for me, I don't know when it will appear, but uh, yeah, I think it was nice and easy, we'll move on to the next race. Okay, the second in the street contest is Hilltop Descent. Again, race in the night. Despite this being a stormy season, we don't have the rain in these races, which is uh, a little bit unusual, but uh, fine with me. I don't mind at all. The paint on this car is by Oh Hell No 1989, who creates absolutely stunning drift style. Uh, liveries and uh, this guy produces those paints in bulk really like he has a lot of really really nice paint, uh, paints especially if you are um, the drifting person but funny enough this car for me personally doesn't really associate with drifting or racing altogether uh, despite being a, an M5 and reason being any E34 BMW uh, so beginning of 90s, mid 90s, really associates for me <laughs> with gangsters. That's what uh, all the bandits were driving, usually in black color. Not M5s, obviously, just 5 series. But nonetheless, they, they look close enough, or actually, you need to know specifics to uh, make a distinction between the two. Now, that was a little bit messy corner, and I didn't overtake that AI, which is quite a shame, but uh, we'll get him just now. Somehow this guy is a little bit faster than uh, all of his artificial teammates, but uh, now he's gone and uh, I expect we'll be building the gap again really, really quickly. So I'm driving a gangster car, but uh, painted in drift 
livery it I guess uh, leaves a little bit of a less threatening image now we have a clean air really open road a long straight here so we can floor it and test what this car can actually do and whoa look at that AIs are nowhere to be found the moment you overtake the first one they lose all the powder all the spark they had in them and there's no more fighting they just fall behind which works for me we are seeing the finish already so let's drift through the finish line a little bit like that in a nice livery and the second race is done as easy as the first and <laughs> look at them they're just parking they don't want to finish they are so upset with how they've been beaten that they decided to not cross the line right the coast run the last race of this championship back in the same position oh there's m1 starting right next to me i absolutely well actually i i was so excited to see the car next to me that i forgot to uh, start properly and i forgot to shift gears that's what destruction uh, makes to you but that that car is very beautiful actually why didn't i choose this especially as i have one from pr stance in very nice paint as well but i'm pretty happy with how this m5 performs really nice lower class rear wheel drive experience i'll just need to overtake these last two which shouldn't be a problem with abundance of corners a little bit of a drift here so i forgot my own advice and was a little bit too optimistic on the th throttle rushing to go past the last remaining opponents here is our place so one down another one as well you you can really see in the lower classes how ai doesn't know how to turn they they really uh, break where it's not needed and always too much i don't know why that is they compensate it with a bit of a extra straight line speed usually but uh, funny enough the most usual complain about ai is that they are making corners absolutely rock solid like on the rails I, I don't find that to be the case they break too much so they don't mess up they don't slide in the corners because they are too slow through them and this observation works for all difficulties unbeatable are not different uh, than that they are going through corners faster and they seem to have like a power boost but they still exhibit all the same behavior with strictly adhering to every braking zone uh, on the track if you build your own <coughs> event labs uh, blueprint you can actually force ai to start slowing down by uh, braking too early and too much in the corners and you will see as they follow the path if uh, you have the uh, the racing line enabled that they start breaking where you point them to so uh, if you are building anti uh, ai tracks use that as well and of course they will follow the path regardless of how ridiculous it is which is usually the way you build a really quick win races where ai of any difficulty is sent to go 10 kilometers around the track and you can just cut the racing line and go straight to the last checkpoint that's usually how it's done anyways with that we are finished with this race and consequently this championship again the train of ais in the night flashing the headlights thank you for watching i hope it was entertaining and i'll see you in the next one